see when we're green. Make sure we're live. Hello, everyone. We're just making sure our connection is... Are we is, testing, uh, testing, testing? I think we're testing. I, I see some action on the, uh, the audio. We got some audio action. I see we have excellent connection, which is excellent to hear. This is great. And I think this is a very great uh, impromptu show. So... Huzzah. No song, huzzah. No, no song. A quick huzzah. And this isn't even a real tasting, but welcome to the Barrel Buddies. Welcome to the Barrel Buddies. I'm James. And I'm BJ. We're coming at you live tonight with a quick <laughs> update. Just before 4th of July, we want to get some information out there. For the Lions and the followers of Greg Manorino, our fourth Barrel Buddy... The fourth barrel buddy. You might know this information already, but for those of you that are just following us, you don't know this yet. And so we wanted to make sure to get some information out there for those of you looking to join us for the Barrel Buddies 4th of July <laughs> Bash. Because it's coming this weekend. It's coming. And it's real. And I know that we've been talking it up and we've been hyping it up and people are like, is this really happening? Is this happening? It's Do I need to serious. come to Vegas? Yes. It's seriously happening. It's, and, it's here. And we know that we've not done the best job of communicating it beforehand, but if you all can get out to Vegas on the 4th of July, uh, we have an amazing we, event in store. I thought we already sold tickets on Eventbrite. So we have. So. If you're one of the lucky 300 that already got tickets on Eventbrite. Which sold out in less than 12 hours, by the way. If we were any fast. other group of people, that's a huge... Night on the belt there. Is, this is a big deal. In fact, I am a little scared at our success. So thank you, <laughs> thank you. all of you out there, uh, for being such fast and ardent supporters of this blog. Uh, in, in one year, I can tell you that a year ago when we first started this, uh, we would never have thought, I can tell you, I would never have thought that we were going to be having a 4th of July show, let alone that we would have put tickets up on Eventbrite and sold out of... 300 tickets in less than 12 hours. Amazing. Ridiculous. And I understand it's a free event and all, but even so, I am beyond thrilled. I thought we'd have that link up there for a week and not sell out. I Yeah, I mean, I didn't think... I thought we would get close, but not sell out. I, I Honestly, I, in my back of my head, 100 people maybe. Yeah. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, thank everybody. You. Thank you. To our friends out there. Um, so we want to get some information out there. We won't keep you waiting. Um, the event is this Sunday night, 4th, 4th of, of July. July. It's going to be at Notoriety on Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas at the Neonopolis. And for those of you familiar with Vegas, Neonopolis is right there downtown on Fremont. It's at 450 Fremont Street. And this is on the third floor, up on the top floor of Neonopolis, which is a it's a shopping area. Um, you can visit the website of the of the venue. It's called NotorietyLive.com. Entry is at 9 p.m. You need to have a ticket. If you don't have a ticket, and you're one of the few, very few people that have already booked your travel, already booked your trip, you're already coming out, and you're you're like, oh my God, no, I've already got, I'm coming. Yeah. Um, please DM us at the barrel buds on instagram um you need to let us know so that we can get the very very short list of extras that we have we do have a very very short list of extra people we can throw on there so you need to contact us immediately um, we've got fireworks downtown at 10 p.m we're going to step out and watch the fireworks show that's taking place on the Strip that night at 11 p.m. It's going to be amazing. Ridiculous. So, and not to change topics too no. much, but the city of Las Vegas is anticipating this 4th of July, since Vegas did not really participate in a New Year's, a crazy New Year's event. And if you know Vegas on New Year's, it's bananas out here. They're expecting this 4th of Ju July to be just as busy, crazy, hectic, party, whatever, as New Year's Eve. No, busier and busier. crazier. It's going to be it's ridiculous. Wild. Which leads me to my... That was a perfect segue, <laughs> which is this. Parking is going to be... You can park at Neonopolis. There's parking, several levels of parking in a basement parking structure. Plenty of parking. Under. Plenty of parking. There's also lots of parking at the D. There's lots of parking up and down Fremont, a Golden Nugget. But get there early because with fireworks and festivities... Starting on Fremont Street that Sunday at 10, 
entry at nine for our event, it's gonna be busy. So we recommend getting there out on Fremont Street around eight and there's lots of stuff to Plenty do. to do. I, if you're jumping an Uber or a Lyft, which a lot of you will be doing, just say, take me to Neonopolis, take me to Fremont Street. All the drivers know exactly where we're going. If you put Neonopolis into your Uber and Lyft app, it'll take you right there. Before the event, I say get there at least an hour beforehand. There's breweries, there's bars, there's gambling, there's plenty to do around the venue before we open the doors. So get there early. We don't want to hear anybody, oh, I got an Uber five minutes before and I missed you guys as, uh, when you opened took, the doors. It took me three hours to get there. Yeah, yeah well, it might because it's, it's going to be the July. Dick. It's going to be crazy. So I suggest get there early. If you haven't booked your accommodations and you need a hotel, you look on for Fremont Street. There's plenty of amazing hotels. You have Circa that just opened down there. You have the Golden Nugget. The D. The D. Um, then it kind of gets a little seedier after that where you could stay at... Um, does Binion's still have their hotel? Binion's still Fort has Queens. their hotel. The California. Uh, California. It's not my favorite. Yeah, but you I mean, stay there. again, I, I named them. Even the Plaza is only. But hey, the, no, the they're Plaza great. Done the Plaza. Oh, actually, okay. I would, I would come out in support of the Plaza. Okay, I would. So, what would we be doing there that night? So, some great stuff going on that night. Oh. We're gonna have pizza. There's a guy there that's gonna be doing pizzas to order, and that that's gonna be pay as you go. So pizzas to order. There's yeah, going to be a cash yeah, bar. We told you guys, and we've been telling you, bring a bottle. We're going to be looking to do corkish fees uh, at the cash bar. So if you got a bottle of something you're going to be wanting to drink, bring it and pay the corkage fee. I can tell you, we're going to be drinking our own thing that night. Yep. We've got a DJ who's going to be doing live music. We've got some card tricksters that's going to be walking around doing a little card trick magic for you up close. We've got some live music performances uh, by the famous Keon The One. You can check out his channel over at Keon The One. Um, and then Keon The One on YouTube? On YouTube. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, so check, check him out. out. Yeah. Um, he's uh, he's going to come and do uh, a 15 minute musical performance. He has to be a part of this. And we said, well, yeah, why not? We didn't even know he was a fan. Sure. So come on down. Um, and then we, of course, are going to have Greg Manorino. He's going to get up and do some talking. You're going to have a live show by live the tasting. one and only The Barrel Buddies. <laughs> and we've already picked what our live tasting is going to be. The one Jimmy, and only. Jimmy, tell us all about what we're going to be sampling we, that evening. We will be sampling a, a bottle of the finest Old Rip Van Winkle. Oh! <laughs> oh! So, so is that a big deal? This is a BFD. This is a big deal. So, um, yeah. I mean, I, I really don't know, don't know what else to say. A lot of people call it Pappy, but it's not Pappy. Uh, this is just the 10-year, but I think this is going to be a great bottle it's for the show. It's young shirt. Pappy. This is baby Pappy. By, uh, not distilled by the world's youngest distiller. No, this is by... Do not confuse that with George no, Toddler. George Toddler style. didn't make this one. This one comes from one of our faves, Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Well, um, the old Rip Van Winkle distillery, uh, and it was distilled, and the proprietor, Julian P. Van Winkle III. There you go. So, big deal. And, uh, and we show this because... You might see this wonderful display. It's not just because it looks beautiful, um, but we're also going to be doing a raffle. A big raffle. Big raffle. We're going to be raffling off all of what you see in front of you, plus things you don't see. And one of the big things you're going to be raffling off that evening is your chance to sit with us, the Barrel Buddies, and enjoy your own tasting with us live on YouTube to drink Old Rip. That's a BFD. Tickets are going to be ten dollars each, six for twenty or fifteen. I'm sorry, not six for twenty, six for fifty. Excuse me, ten dollars each, six for fifty dollars, and fifteen for a hundred. Your chance to come up on stage with us, enjoy some old rip. I can tell you, um, it's kind of going to be one of those once in a lifetime tastes. Yeah. Uh, and then also your chance to win uh, a lot of stuff we have here. We have the Fourth of July uh, smoke wagon. Uh, bourbon bottles. Small We've got. Match, yep. Oh my God! This Elijah Craig eighteen. Elijah Craig eighteen. That's a big a deal. Jack Daniel's Heritage label. This is one of my favorites. Oh, the Tumbling Dice. But liquor what's the World Store? The Liquor pick. World Store pick. Such good stuff. Uh, you seen a handle have, of Buffalo Trace before? It's a handle. That's a hundred and fifty dollar handle. It's a Vegas Strong Store pick. <laughs> that you're not going to just get that anywhere. How about how about one of my all time favorites? Great stuff. The Colonel Taylor Rye. Straight Rye. Each Taylor. Big deal. 
another great bottle. Well, that's a and, huge bottle. And this is just the beginning. I think we're gonna probably add about 10 bottles total for the raffle. Um, it's gonna be big. So big you deals. can hopefully take away a bottle and enjoy it <laughs> after you win it. And, and what about these? Okay, I, a lot of people have been asking us to raffle these off, auction them off. These have been in Greg Manorino's mouth, by the way. Uh, they... It's proof. On two episodes ago, you'll see that. Go back and watch, and you'll see that Robin Hood of Wall Street. Ago. He takes those in his mouth. So <laughs> um, there's been a. I've had. We've had offers to we've buy had offers. these for five thousand dollars, and so yeah. <laughs> uh, we're ridiculous. gonna tell you right now. For five thousand dollars or more, we'd be willing to part with these. Yeah, and and we also like like we've been offered like crypto people. I mean, you willing to part with those? Yeah. We're so like, do you guys take? Crypto payments. We're gonna see. Absolutely, we we're gonna see how high these get, but I think that these balls might be going with some signatures on them. It really breaks my heart because it has I a lot know. of history for I me, know. and to let these go. I know. Uh, it's gonna be okay. But money talks. Listen, as we all know. <laughs> t-shirts, hats. T-shirts, hats. Very limited. Very limited. Yeah, we won't have much. But we'll start taking our pre-orders that evening as well. <laughs> so we wanted to get this information out to you as soon as possible. Yes. Um, please, please, please share this link. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. This this treehouse brewing. Ah, we're enjoying this it. This treehouse brewing is really settling with me well. Um, we wanted to get this info out to you as quickly as possible. Right. Because, uh, again, as, as James had pointed out, we have not done a great job at communicating all of this. So shout out to Greg, who's done a great job at communicating Thank all you, of Greg. this for us. Thank you. Um, and we really wanted to get out to our fans. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, um, leave a comment, and of course, share. Let everybody know who follows this channel. We are still sitting at around 2,700 subscribers. Uh, and right now we know that about 300 or more of you are coming out to Vegas this weekend for this. So don't forget to let everybody know that this is what's going on. And if you're not one of the few who are going to be able to join us, we understand. And uh, don't worry, this is one of many live events that we're planning on doing. Uh, I think we've got at least two more live yeah. events this year. And so um, if you can't be there, that's okay. We're going to be filming live that night. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And uh, don't forget to follow the hashtag, hashtag the Barrel Buddies. Uh, because I think you're going to find a lot of our followers and a lot of the attendees posting stuff all night. Yeah, and I may have a live show in store in general. I think I'm just going to set up one of the cameras and we'll just keep and it just running. That's so great. for our friends out there that can't make it, we'll still have a view of the show going cool. live on YouTube. So be on the lookout for that. And as well as, don't forget, message us at the Barrel Buds on Instagram if you have any questions. Just reiterating that from what BJ just said. Let us know if you have any comments, questions, concerns, any comments about the show, let us know, or about the event, as or and the show. And uh, again, if there, you're one of those few that did not get a ticket and you still need um, assistance acquiring, let us know again we through have a, direct messages. Yeah, we, we have, have a, a literal very handful. small handful. Right. So for for there, there are some that were like, oh my God, no, I'm coming. I'm coming yeah, from here. I've already bought the ticket. Booked, let us know. We'll we, see what we we've do. got some emergency distressed last minute tickets uh, that we've held back on, knowing that we were going to have some some people that were, you know, late to that party. So always willing to help a barrel buddy in distress. Always, always. always. Um, listen, we're real excited. With that, um, shout out to everyone in the chat. By the way, I'm not going to go through. Oh yeah, thank what you we all got for going joining. on? Patrick Curry, hello there. Josh Barr, Patsy, Jeremy, Shelley, HP. We'll see you guys. Good to see you all. That's what I got. Um, and then I think we're doing a live show on Wednesday. Yeah, catch us for our regularly scheduled show on Wednesday. We had to take last week off. Hey, listen, and, and give some positive thoughts and vibes out there for our for our buddy Zach. Um, Zach is is going through some some life stuff right now, and, and we, you know, our thoughts are with you, Zach. Yep. Um, he's good. Zach's okay. Zach's okay. But you know, life happens, and so Zach is out attending to life, and so uh, our thoughts are with him. Um, and he should be here with us on Wednesday, but, uh, you know, look for us again on our regularly scheduled show. Sorry we didn't have one last week. Um, you know, we've all got stuff that we're prepping for. We had to prep last week for this, but again, pizza, food, music, magic tricks, <laughs> raffles, so much it's more gonna fun. It's going to be a blast. We, we don't it's even know. It is going to be the blast. I like that. I like, see what you did there. The 
everyone. I'm James. And I'm BJ. Have a great night. See ya.